Alrighty guys, I finally got these two lights together like they would be on the pole, courtesy of a few friends. Um, the two lights, thanks to Rick Ball, I uh, got those from him. The manifold, that whole piece that's holding them together, uh, David um, Scott, thank you for that. And a uh, big shout out to Sandra for helping me find the bolts that bolt everything together. Minus those two, um, I had to actually go to automotive fasteners because they were kind of like a special type of screw. And that basically holds that plate on there. Um, but yeah, they're ready to go. The only thing I'm waiting for now is Sean Breen's um, railroad controller uh, board that I ordered from him. And then I can fire these bad boys up and show you how they work. Now, I know many of you may see them flashing, but this is an optical illusion. You know why? Whew. Because of that. Whew. But anyway, yes, um, I'm waiting for the uh, controller board, the custom one that I ordered for them, that I'm going to hook those up to. Um, I had them program it to, I'm actually going to leave these plugged in, like, forever, just like all the time because the board itself is going to randomly turn them on and turn them off like a train's actually coming so when i come out the room they'll surprise me might be flashing might be not and my ultimate goal temporarily i think i'm just going to leave them there even when i have them hooked up but the ultimate goal because i know i keep telling them i build a custom table for this light i was thinking with the weight of this light I was kind of a little afraid of actually, because my ultimate goal is to build a table and have the stand come up, come up all the way up, and then come out, and I was going to hang that from the top part, and it will illuminate the custom table, because I'm a, underneath this light, there's a place to put like a light that shines down, what they call a, um, I just forgot the name of it that quick. For sake of purpose, bottom light. I forgot the technical term. But anyway, it's going to light the table. But then I started to think about it. I was like, well, the light is awfully heavy. So my my second revision is I'm going to still do that. But to offset the weight of this, I'm going to mount those on the side of the pole that this is going to hang from. So... Though the railroad lights will be facing out the window, just who would want to see railroad lights when you drive by a house? Anywho, so they'll be flashing out the window, and the weight of the, the railroad lights will offset the weight of this, so that way the pole won't be so strained with all the weight being on this side of it, you know, with the light hanging down. So, that's going to be my revision. So... I don't know, this weekend I might work, may or may not stop building it. I kind of, I think I'm going to wait and ask my friend who's got a pickup truck. It'll just be easier to get all the wood here. So I may wait. I may or may not work on it this weekend. I don't know. But that's the ultimate plan. So right now that's just, that's the temporary home. And permanently they'll be on the pole that goes up the whole, that light up there I'll do, I'll do a sketch tomorrow and kind of just throw it together and upload it but anyway those are now bolted together as one unit so that's you see they're about as big as a house this is as big as they are in real life so when i get the board i'll show it to you all right folks good night